MI Golf Podcast with Paul Kelly and Morris J. So good afternoon everybody from this uh, outside broadcast of the NI Golf Podcast here at Ballyliffin. Today it was the media day uh, hosted by the European Tour and the Rory Foundation. Do not be fooled uh, by this lovely sunshine and these conditions as we take a quick span around uh, because literally... Uh, 45 minutes ago when we came in off the course uh, Mr Kelly what was it like? Very windy would be an understatement Morris I think at one stage I possibly got blown off my feet Yeah pretty much it was 50 mile an hour winds today it was gale force winds Uh, the rain came in sideways and it was just I mean the balls were oscillating on the greens Let's be honest the tour pros would have been doing an awful lot of crying I think the tour pros probably would have been called off. I think they probably would have abandoned play today. I mean, the balls were actually literally oscillating and then going off the green. So it was tricky enough now today. Uh, We had a fantastic score. Uh, We were the defending champions of the the media trophy. Sadly, just pipped by, it was only 12 points. However, they did change the format, remember. It was a four-team-man team event this last year. This year, it was only two-man teams. They did that to make sure we couldn't win. Uh, well done to uh, Kevin Markham and his playing partner. 39 points was the winning score. Uh, four ball better ball. Uh, best score at the hole. So it was a good score now. Uh, so we're just going to head inside to the clubhouse, which is ha. Yeah. And uh, we're going to do the press conference this afternoon for the uh, Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. And that's coming up on a wee mo. And then we'll do our normal podcast probably in another week or so. Uh, so from Bally Liffin, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. Thank you all for uh, joining us here today. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to a very, very exciting announcement for the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open, hosted by the Rory Foundation. Uh, at the top table here, you'll see we've got Sinead Il Sabai, the Senior Vice President of Marketing at Dubai Duty Free. We've got on the right, Simon Alice, the European Tours Championship Director for the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. We've got a legend in our presence. We've got Des Smith, the eight-time European Tour winner and two-time Ryder Cup player. And we have Barry Funston just here to the right of Simon, the chief executive of the Rory Foundation. We have Martin Donnelly, the business development manager of uh, Tourism Ireland over on the left. And we have John Farron here, the general manager of Ballyliffin Golf Club, our great venue here uh, today. So without further ado, I'll ask Sinead to uh, take the floor and let us know what we're, we're here to announce. Great. Thank you, Neil. Hello, everybody. Great to see you all again for our annual Media Day. It's good to be here. Um, Dubai Duty Free, as you know, became the title sponsor in 2015. And at that time, the tournament was very different from what it is today. The prize money was 2.5 million euro. And now, of course, as we all know, um, it's 7 million US dollars and part of the Rolex series. One of the reasons why we became involved really was Rory McIlroy's um, intention to be the to be the host. And he's done a fantastic job since 2015. Well, the announcement today is very much that Dubai Duty Free, going forward, are extending our sponsorship for the next two years with an option for a further two years, bringing us up to 2022. And the reason behind our decision to go ahead with this is, of course, this tournament is very important to us in terms of the media value that Dubai and Dubai Duty Free brand receive. We have received over 3,000 TV hours in the 2017 tournament. And we believe that's just going to go uh, go forward to create even more TV exposure for Dubai Duty Free and for our brand. We think it's a great tournament. We're really happy to be part of it. And we thank European Tour for being behind this and for bringing in the Rolex series. And uh, we just think it's a fantastic event to go forward with. So I think it's good news. So thank you very much. And thank you also to the media for calling it the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open in your reports and your TV coverage, etc. That really means it's very important to all of us um, going forward. So thank you again. Thank you very much, Sinead, uh, for that exci- exciting news with uh, regard to the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. And um, you will see the details. We have a press release which Michael and Connor will hand out to you right now uh, to give you all the details of that announcement. And uh, we will be sending an email later on, so you'll have it all digitally as well uh, soon after this announcement. Uh, I'm f- delighted to say that we have a little message here from a very special guest. Our defending champion, John Ram. So I'll just play this for you right now. Well, hello, guys. John Ram here. Uh, I just wanted to say my huge congratulations to the Irish Open and to Dubai Duty Free for uh, sponsoring the event until 2022. Uh, it, it's obviously a very special event for me, uh, very worthy of a Rolex Series. Uh, to be a Rolex Series event is very important, very special, one of the marquee events in the European Tour. And uh, 
I'm sure glad to be a defending champion, and I really can't, well, can't wait to go back and defend uh, in Bali uh, Also, I got to really say thank you to Colm and, and Shined and the whole team from Dubai Duty Free to making this possible. Again, one of my favorites events all year, and uh, you know, I can't wait to be back. There we go. Okay, I'm going to pass the mic over now to Simon Alice, the championship director of this, of this tournament, to say a few words on behalf of the European Tour. Thanks, Neil. Um, welcome, everybody. Um, primarily, my job is quite easy now. It's to say thank you to Sinead. Uh, we, we run professional golf tournaments all around the world, and we can't deliver the quality and the standard and the excellence that we expect without true partners. And this announcement today shows a significant commitment to our business, and we are extremely grateful to everything that Colin and Sinead do and Dubai Duty Free bring to the Dubai Duty Free Iris Open. Uh, like all good partners, we, uh, we check and we review, and we make sure we get it right, and we make sure that we work to get things progressive, and we improve year on year. And I think this is a, a standout moment that shows that our flag is firmly in the ground, we are developing, we are giving more exposure, we're developing more golfing talent. We're delighted to be coming back, uh, uh, to be, not coming back, but to be coming here in July. The golf course was probably a little tougher than it might be in July today, but uh, we're very grateful for all your help. We're delighted to be partnered with Sinead and Colin, and we're looking forward to another four extremely strong years. Thank you very much. Simon, Simon, I know you're very excited about this video that we played last night for everybody at the dinner, so for everybody who wasn't there. Yeah, we have a, a little treat, um, some that were at the dinner last night. There's been a lot of work going on in the back rooms here at Ballyliffin, and none working quite so hard as Andy Robertson, the, uh, the ever-believing greenkeeper here, and he's been working very hard, and we did a little behind-the-scenes camera show with an undercover team, and uh, I hope you appreciate what came out of it. Life on the fairways of Ballyliffin starts early. This course lives and breathes. It has a unique character and a personality of its own. Evolved over centuries of braving the elements on Ireland's most northerly point. It's our job to craft the course in tune with what modern nature has given us and ready it for the challenge ahead as the finest players in the world come to play in this year's Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. I know this place like the back of my hand. Every undulation, every pin position, and every tee box. It's an honour to work in this masterpiece every day and share the ground where the magic happens. But I'll tell you this, when they arrive, we'll be ready. There we go. Now I'm going to turn to uh, Des Smith because on top of this announcement of the uh, extension, we've also got another exciting announcement to make, and that is that Des Smith will become a tournament ambassador for the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open over the next four years. So Des, uh, can you please tell us what this will entail and how, how your role will, will evolve over the next four years? Well, first of all, I'm delighted to be here, and I'm very honoured to be the ambassador to the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. I've been working with Dubai Duty Free for some years now, so taking on the ambassador's role over the next four years, uh, there are going to be different players hosting, as I understand, uh, as the tournament goes forward. And uh, I think um, they're looking for me to coordinate uh, with, with the host players over the following four years. I assume, because I was such a fantastic vice-captain of the Ryder Cup team, <laughs> that that's the reason they want me for this. But, uh, no, I'm delighted and honoured to be part of this great event. Uh, I've, uh, I played in it many years ago as a young pro. Um, it went through a difficult time. And now that it's back up on its feet, the fact that Dubai Duty Free, the Rory Foundation, the Rolex series, it's so exciting. And uh, yeah, I'm delighted to be involved and I hope I can bring some of the experience I've learned over the years and direct these young superstars in, in, to go in the right place. Thank you very much, Des. I'm sure you will. 
before I open to the floor for some questions, I'm just going to put a couple, couple of questions to the remaining guests at the table. Barry, it's obviously been a, a, an extraordinary journey for the Rory Foundation alongside Dubai Duty Free and, and with the Irish Open. Can you tell us about how the Rory Foundation has grown and evolved and, and about the, maybe the, the funds that you've raised over the years that you've been supporting the tournament? Yeah, well, I think from, from our perspective, um, it was, uh, you know, it's well documented now. Rory decided four years ago that he wanted to try to uh, improve a lot of the Irish Open. And, and we were very fortunate. We had a terrific partner in Dubai, Judy Free, who, who bought into the vision straight away. And um, over, those, over the four years that we have been involved, the evolution uh, in the tournament is well documented. And I think from the Rory Foundation's perspective, it's been terrific. You know, we have raised well in excess of $3 million uh, for causes in the areas that the, the, the tournament has been hosted over those years. And, you know, we, we had a very deliberate strategy of moving the, the, the tournament around Ireland. Um, and getting it up here to Ballylifton was, you know, something that Rory spoke about years ago. So, so we're delighted that that the process of rotating the hosting of it has has been introduced. We think it's the right thing to do. We we have some great Irish talent, and they should be given the honour and the privilege of hosting the tournament also. So, we're delighted with that. But we're equally delighted that that our uh, four-year term is coming to an end at Bally Lifton because it's a course Rory has holds in great affection. So we're excited about this year and we think it's going to be a terrific tournament. Last but not least, John, I'm sure everybody will agree what an incredible golf course this is that we'll see in July. Um, you've made some significant investments, not only in the golf course, but in the clubhouse here and the place looks absolutely stunning. Can you tell us how excited you are to uh, see the, the stars of world golf arrive here in July? Yeah, we're... We, the members, are all very excited about the, the prospect of staging you know, a world-class tournament with Dubai Duty Free and the Rory Foundation and, and uh, you know, Fodge Ireland's involvement and uh, our obvious uh, partners with Donegal County Council and Derry Strabane County Council. So it's a big, big deal for this part of the world and we're very grateful that the Tour has had the confidence to bring it to this region. For the first time, we're breaking a lot of new ground. And I think it'll be ground that's going to be well ploughed and harrowed over the, harrowed over the next uh, 20 or 30 years. It is a breakthrough event for Donegal, for the Northwest region. And we do appreciate the opportunity. And we intend to seize the opportunity as best we can. And as, the, as Andy said in the, in the, the video clip there, um, we'll be ready. Uh, we're doing our very best. And the members and council are striving to get everything possibly done that we can get done. Uh, working together with the county council, with the members, um, and uh, you know we're looking forward to it. And uh, hopefully, that's the end of the bad weather today. That's the last we've seen of it. <laughs> thank you very much, John, and thank you everybody at the top table. Chicken head ass, chicken head ass.